what's up you guys, Shard Miss Prime here doing another Marvel Legends story review on Marvel Legends Series 1 Iron Man. Um, I gotta say this is probably one of the very first, uh, this is one of the first Marvel Legends that I wanted really, really bad that I didn't get a chance to pick up, um, when I had first seen him at the store, I didn't have enough money, so I went to the bank, came back, he was gone, and I never saw him in a store since, like, three or four years after that I ended up getting him as a birthday gift, so... Um, yeah, so, <clears throat> this thing is really badass. It's a Series 1 figure, um, and there's a lot of other Iron Man figures, uh, to compare him to, which I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to compare him to the, uh, two-pack Iron Man from Hasbro, the, uh, ultimate Iron Man from Hasbro, and then the Toy Biz Modern Iron Man. The Toy Biz Modern Iron Man is actually my favorite one, but I'll get to, go, I'll get back to that in a minute. Um, so yeah, just to give you a quick 360 of this thing. I think this figure is really, really amazing. I really, really like it. He is a bit bulky, um, as a lot of people have commented on before, but I think it's cool. I mean, it's an Iron Man suit, you know, and I just think it looks great. Um, the uh, the red on this figure has kind of this, um, it's not really a gloss, but and I've mentioned this before with other legends, but you could see like there's uh, kind of like a sparkle kind of thing going on inside the paint. It kind of has like a zinc look to it or something. I don't know, um, <clears throat> and it looks, it sticks out mostly on the chest area, and on the bands, um, right here on the, on the boot, and right here on the, uh, on the wrist glove thing, but not as much as on the actual hand and on the actual foot, but, um, yeah, you can really see it right here, and on the crotch area, and on his side disc things, it's very reflective, so it comes off as really reflective on the camera. But, um, oh, well, the whole thing does, actually. <clears throat> and then, um, so, and it's just a solid red color, you know, besides that kind of sparkle thing I was just mentioning. Um, and the yellow is very, very cool. I like how the yellow looks. It has a orange fade going in and out of it. Very nice. So, solid paint detailing there. I don't know if you could really see it if it looks just like a flat yellow, but it, it does have paint detailing in it. There is shading in that yellow, like especially on the top of the thighs, you could really see it. Um, very cool figure. I just, you know, I really like how he looks. Like, I just really like his size. Um, the uh, the articulation is pretty damn cool, especially for how bulky he is. Um, here's another cool feature: is you could remove the mask, and you get Tony Stark looking at you right there. So that's pretty cool, Tony Stark. I like the uh, I like the flesh tone that they picked out for him. And the sculpt of the face is very nice. Very cool looking Tony Stark. Um, and the mask does have orange shading in it as well. It's just black for the eyes and the mouth area. But, uh, yeah, they give him blue eyes. Yeah, pretty cool. I like it. The uh, So the articulation, the head moves back. I feel like I'm going to pop this thing off too. It moves back this much. I'm not going to pop this one off. And the head moves down, side to side, just fine. Um, you know, I really have to be careful with these things. He has this uh, this more old school toy biz kind of joint right here, uh, where you could see a gap. I think Century Productions mentioned how this is the same way on Magneto as well. So it's got this gap right here, and I think he broke his right there too. So, and then so he has that shoulder joint, and then he also has a ball joint over here. Okay, bicep joint, double jointed elbows, twists at the at the forearm right there, wrist moves up and down, and then he has finger joints that close like that. Now, it's kind of, um, it's a little frustrating because you can't really make a fist with this Iron Man. The hands are the same on each side. You can't really make a fist, and, um, and the hands are, I don't know, the wrist joint is kind of loose on mine. I think it's like that with most people's, I'm not sure. You guys can let me know in the comments. But, um, <laughs> hello, alright, and, um, yeah, so... It kind of sucks trying to make a fist with this character, but you know what? Unlike the modern Iron Man, um, this one does have the open hand, so you can do his, his blasts coming at you like that, which is really cool, which I like a lot. Um, yeah, so it sucks for making a fist, and, it's, you know, he's kind of limp He It looks like he's supposed to have a diaphragm joint right here. You see that line going like that? But it does not move. And he has a waist joint, which is extremely flimsy. Um, one of my best friends, Isaiah, uh, his Series 1 Iron Man fell off the shelf and broke right at the waist right here. And on mine it feels very loose. So, careful with that. 
so he doesn't his his torso doesn't bend forward at all whatsoever. So look out for that. Um, oh, one quick thing I wanted to mention is um, in the circle area right here. It's kind of more of a gold than a yellow. Kind of sticks out a little bit more as a goldish color than a yellow. I think that's really cool. I like how these are painted yellow inside these two dots too. That's pretty neat. Okay. Anyway, um, and he has uh, this different kind of joint right here. Kind of this Punisher. Leg joint kind of, eh, not really Punisher, but it moves sideways and it moves forward and then it twists at the thigh. So it's not a ball joint up here, but it does move sideways well and it does move forward, like I just said. Uh, thigh joint right there, double jointed knees, okay. Um, twist right here at the top of the boot, alright. The foot moves up and down nicely and it does have this ankle twist, alright. And then he does have a toe joint as well and he does have hole pegs at the bottom. Okay, very, very cool figure. I like this guy a lot. One of my favorite Iron Man figures. It's, it's kind of tough for me because I'm torn between him and the, uh, the Series 8 Iron Man. Here's his base that he comes with. Very cool. Stark Tower. A lot of paint detail on this thing. A lot of gray and black mixed in together. You know, this piece will pop off. I really like this shimmery kind of, you know, this bronze look. Very nice. Hole peg right there, or not hole peg, but uh, what you call it, you know, push pin hole, so you can have it hanging on the wall. Very nice. And he does have hole pegs right here, so you can get Iron Man to fit onto the base. Let's see if I can find the... Yeah, so you can have that going on if you want, you know. What was it? Kind of like Hulk smash everything statue? <laughs> so you could do one of those. I don't know. Something like that. I would put more time into it to have it lean against his forearm like that. But okay, I'm not going to spend time doing that. And uh, so just to compare him to the other Iron Iron Men. Uh, so here's Series 1. Try to put them all the way over here. I'm going to lean them all against the same, against the backdrop. So because here's the Hasbro one. See how puny he looks? I don't know. He just looks so puny to me. Then um, here's the Ultimate Iron Man, which is pretty normal size to me, I think. And then the, uh, and this is my favorite. I made a little custom repulsor blast thing. But here's the uh, Modern Iron Man, which is my favorite. I actually really do like this one a lot. I don't have the face-off Iron Man. That looks like a pretty damn cool Iron Man, but uh, I do not own him. All right, guys, that's my review of Series One Iron Man. If you see, uh, yeah, if you get a chance to pick him up, you will not regret it. Trust me, he is a badass. All right, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.